high school sports will be held in the fall, but they will be delayed. Ben Jordan breaks down today's decision by the WIAA. The WIA board says several options were on the table from moving fall sports to spring to scrapping the season altogether. Ultimately, the board decided it's best to allow athletes to compete this fall. In a high stakes meeting, WIAA leaders appeared virtually in front of several thousand viewers waiting to find out the fate of fall high school sports. I have uh, eight yeses and three noes. Sports considered to have a low risk of coronavirus spread, such as golf, swimming, cross country and tennis can start practice August 17th. Contact sports, including football, soccer and volleyball, have to wait until the week of September 7th. This will make some people happy and others uh, disappointed. Pediatric sports medicine specialist Dr. Kevin Walter says face covering should be worn by everyone who isn't competing. I think coaches should wear masks. Um, officials should wear masks. Christy Ortwine says her sons on Nicolay's high school soccer team have already experienced a coronavirus scare. They started out doing the captain's practices. They ended up, um, after some athletes had tested positive, they pulled back on having the contact days. Although Ortwine has some concerns, she believes there are even more benefits to being able to take the field. For their physical and mental health. There is one caveat. School districts and coronavirus hotspots will have the option to move their fall sports to the second half of the year. Royce Nash thinks it should be up to athletes and parents like him. Precautions do need to be put in place, but you have a country full of kids who have worked hard for their entire high school career. Athletes who test positive will have to wait 10 days from their diagnosis and three days of being symptom free before returning to competition. Reporting outside Nicolay High School, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.